OK, campus development. How and when did all of this get here? And what is going to happen in the future? Let's start from the beginning. Chalmers was founded in 1829 and is named after William Chalmers. He was one of the directors of this Swedish East India Company in Gothenburg. But it would take almost a hundred years until this campus would start to take shape. In 1926, the university built Origo, Johannibeli's first educational building. Throughout the years, Chalmers has undergone constant development and change with more buildings being added and old ones being repurposed and renewed. We even expanded to form a second campus at Lindholmen, where we focus on IT and maritime studies. Today, Chalmers is home to a colourful mix of educational buildings, research facilities, office space and student housing. It's an ideal environment for collaboration and innovation. A good example of this spirit is Johannaberry Science Park. Its two connected buildings were completed in 2015. It's a vibrant meeting place with conference rooms, restaurants and cafes. So, there's always something going on. In 2016, OSB's living lab was built here. In this research arena, many different projects will be ongoing while students live in the building. And anything from new materials to smart interfaces are being tested over a period of 10 years. They even keep chickens as part of a circular economy. So, what's next? In 2019, the science park will expand with another building just across the street. It will be an office building and innovation arena, both during the construction process and in the future. Other ideas involve a student housing complex right here, at the university's large parking ground. And instead of being a large area with only one entrance in the north, the southern part of Chalmers will become more accessible once the bus stations at the science park are expanded. To wrap it up, whatever the future brings, Chalmers will always be a place alive with learning, innovation and development.